Hi everybody, my name is Derek Kalin. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a visualization that I made along with my partner uh, Wasim Ahmed of Iraq's budget in 2016. And I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use uh, a free tool called Tableau Public to do the same thing with any budget. So let's get right into it. This is the budget that I put together with uh, Wasim Ahmed. Originally, Iraq's budget existed uh, in open form basically as a PDF scan of a paper document that was published by the government um, and buried somewhere on, on the uh, parliament's website. Uh, Wasim took that budget and translated it into English and broke it down in such a way that it was possible for me to import it into uh, a visualization that you see in front of you here. This is called a tree map. Uh, and it's uh, a top-level breakdown of the different sorts of uh, spendings of the government where each little box that you see represents a ministry or body within the government and the size reflects how much was invested either in, as you see, current expenses or investment expenses, expenses going forward. And the uh, size of the body is determined by its uh, total expenses. So you can see here that the Ministry of Finance is one of the largest bodies, uh, Ministry of Trade alongside it, Securities Commission. Uh, next to that you have the Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Defense. You have the provinces uh, of which the Kurdistan region takes up a huge component and then the general and local administration of the other provinces takes its own uh, chunk and down the line. Now, this looks pretty complicated, but you can actually build something like this fairly easily, easily yourself. And what's more, you could probably come up with um, a visualization that went even deeper than this. Uh, one critique of, I have of our own work is that we only have the top level investment seen for the Ministry of Finance, but we don't have any uh, project lines within that or, you know, investments beneath just broadly speaking, the Ministry of Finance. So something to look in going forward. Now, if I went and downloaded the uh, data from this publication, you can see this is the format, right? And I'm just gonna download all rows as a text file and then open it up in um, like a desktop version of Excel. This isn't quite Excel, this is a open source version, but it does a lot of the same functions. And you'll be able to see through this visualization exactly what this looks like. Um, I say yes. So you can see uh, that at the top, I have the broadest possible way to define things, uh, the category. Uh, these categories were determined by uh, Wasim Ahmed. So he took um, the various ministries or bodies and then arranged them according to um, what category, what, what uh, function that they served. And each thing that shares uh, a category name shares, as you can see, a color in the visualization. So the Ministry of Finance, all these things labeled as uh, trade and finance share the same color. Um, so he took each ministry or body and then he came up with a um, the, the name as declared on the budget. Now if you wanted to, you could break these down into sub bodies and even go sub sub bodies and go down the line for greater and greater subdivisions. Um, then he listed the uh, current expenses, the investment expenses, and then the sum of those two for total expenses. Now, for the most part, as I mentioned, we didn't have any breakdown of ministry or body. So there's no subdivisions within each individual box on our visualization. But if you go down to the, um, the office of the prime minister, You'll have the cabinet of Iraq, and then you'll have subdivisions for each of those, right? And I could continue adding subdivisions down the line, and the map would get more and more granular. But in general, understand that this is how it works. 
you start out your sheet with the broadest possible category, and then you subdivide, and then you subdivide again um, as much as is relevant. And notice that for all the smaller subdivisions, they all at least share uh, a single uh, body or ministry. And uh, if I were to load up the, the cabinets of Iraq, you could see that here are these subdivisions in these colors. Okay, so how do I make a visualization uh, uh, when my budget is formatted thusly? So to do that, we're going to open up Tableau Public. Oh my god. Uh, sorry. Yes. Moving on. So Tableau Public, um, Tableau is a visualization software uh, that ordinarily costs quite a bit of money, but Tableau Public is available for nonprofits. So if you are a member of a nonprofit, uh, you will be able to access Tableau Public. And the nice thing about Tableau Public is that um, really, nonprofit or not, anybody can use it. The deal is that all of the data that you have uh, it's impossible to keep it private. So um, you are getting the access to the full suite of visualizations uh, that exist for, but you're not able to, uh, you know, save your information privately. So you wouldn't use this if you're trying to like visualize uh, your own organization spending or the, you know, list of your favorite, you know, politicians or anything like that, because all the information get saved online. What this is for is for if you have something that you absolutely want to visualize and make available for other people to view. So, um, uh, the first thing you do is connect your Tableau public account to uh, a type of file. You can connect it to something called OData, Excel. You can even connect it to Google um, Forms and have it dynamically update as the Google Forms update. For now, we're going to do something static and connect to an Excel spreadsheet. Actually, because the format that we downloaded in was a text file, we probably will get it in this way. Yep, IraqBudget2016.csv. So we open this. Tableau um, scans the type of information, and it breaks down um, all of this into the categories that we predefined in our original budget. We click on Sheet 1, and we start the process of visualization. Now I have to remember what it is that I was going to do. So over here on the left hand side you have uh, the different ways that Tableau Public breaks down data. There's dimensions which are the names of um, fields of data and then measures which are you know the values that those fields of data have. So what we're trying to do is make it so that the visualization shows the category ministry and sub-ministry, and then shows the number of expenses that belong to each of those bodies. Um, if we clicked on show me, here are all the different types of graphs that Tableau Public can do. What we want is a tree map, which requires one or more dimension and one or more measures. So it's been a while since I've had to do this. Let's, let's try to make this happen. I'm going to drag the ministries and bodies all into one, and I'm going to drag current investment now, I'm just going to, for the purposes of this, select total expenses. Notice that I've drawn one into the columns category and one into the rows category. And while you can see uh, it's created a bar chart, it also should, boom, create a, um, a tree map. So you can see that uh, this is structured very similarly to here, the online version that Wasim and I created. What you'll notice is that while the boxes look about the same, um, the colors are all different. This right now uh, arranges things by the amount of money invested in them, I think. Yeah, so the color, as you can see, is defined by the total expenses amounted. So Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Oil, these are the two largest bodies, and as a result, they're darker. If you wanted to define the color not by the amount of expenses, but by the type of uh, 
investment that it was, you drag category and you pull it all over into color and boom, there you are. You have it already set up. So uh, we can define this graph. I'm just going to, instead of calling it, I'm going to define the sheet name as Iraq budget because that's what it is. And then move on to something called the dashboard. Now, dashboards are basically the place where you take your visualizations and um, collect them together. So the way that this, the, the flow of Tableau Public works is that you have a data source, you upload your data, you have various sheets where you come up with visualizations of that data, right? And then you have a dashboard where you drop these visualizations together. In our case, we just have one visualization. We'll drag the Iraqi budget and pull it in. And here you have the various categories. And here uh, in the middle, you have um, the legend, basically, describing each category. Now, you can take this, um, this, uh, this dashboard and you can play around with its dimensions. I could probably stretch it here. Yeah, and get rid of the legend. I could make it really tiny for some reason. I don't know why I do that. Or you could play around with the layouts provided. So we could make this an automatic visualization as we've done here, and that'll fix. And probably that actually makes the most sense. This will resize to fit any screen that it is displayed on. So you can choose this, or you can choose to like set the uh, dimensions in particular to fit like a mobile phone or something like that. And then uh, we save the Tableau public as, and we'll need to sign in. Let me hope that I remember my password while I'm making a video. We decide what it looks like and we're calling it demo Iraq budget. And we're hitting save. Now, this is going online. Uh, it's not saving locally on my computer, as I said before. This is published online, so any visualization you make should be something that somebody else can see, right? We, uh, it, so it loaded up on Tableau Public. It's giving me the options to edit details. I can say that this is going to be uh, something that I'm embedding on my own website, give it a permalink. Um, I can give people viewing options allow people to download uh, workbook sheets as tabs, stuff like that. Say I've got it. And save. And voila, you have a public uh, tree map that you can embed on your own website. Oh, let me show you how you do that. Um, one final thing. So you can share this. And right here you have an embed code. This is HTML. So if you wanted to drop it into your own website, you could. Or you can just make it a link and share it out. It gives you the option to tweet it or share it via Facebook. Okay, so I hope that uh, this kind of gave the overview of how we made this visualization. It took a lot of work and to be honest, most of it belonged to Wasim for uh, making the translation possible so that we were able to view this both in English and in Arabic. Uh, but there you go. That's how you use Tableau Public to visualize uh, a federal budget and break it down into categories that are easy to understand. So uh, again, my name is Derek Kalin. Please contact me at derek at peacetechlab.org if you have any questions about how it's done. And um, thanks for watching. And now I'm going to hit stop.